Well, a short time ago, while the Prime Minister and Indonesian President were speaking, Shadow Treasurer Angus Taylor gave a press conference reacting to the Reserve Bank's decision. Let's have a listen to that. Well, the first thing is don't add $185 billion of spending. That's over $7,000 of spending for every Australian since they came into power. Now, there's been a very significant windfall. They've spent a large part of that windfall. In fact, if you look at the policy initiatives in the last budget, they're spending $2 for every dollar they're saving. That's the wrong priority for getting downward pressure on inflation and downward pressure on interest rates. Um, their industrial relations policy is only going to make the situation worse. And a number of economists have highlighted this in recent times. Uh, and we've seen uh, commentators regularly point out uh, that the risk here is that they're going to make the situation worse. And energy policy, they've got to deliver on their promise. Uh, but by failing to deliver on that promise, uh, they're making the situation worse. So there's many levers at their disposal, uh, uh, making sure productivity gets back on track. We saw an 11 per cent gain in productivity in our time in government. Almost half of that has been wiped out in the single year of this Labor government. These are all the measures that government has to take. And we know from history uh, that beating inflation, beating inflation requires government policy uh, to be absolutely focused on the task, not leaving the whole job to the central bank.